Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to be making a shelf which will go above the seats up there, below the headliner. So uh, I've started taking off the trim bits and pieces down there. We'll do the same with the other side. And then figure out if there's any more fixes down there because I don't know quite how it's held up. I think it's just the two bolts, what I'm hoping anyway. So uh, I'll set you up, you can watch me take it down and um, yeah, get it insulated, both barriered, and I can get the shelf up. Sweet. All right, just to show you, as far as I can figure out, you just got to take these out here, just to release this piece here. And over here, you've just got these bolts that go through, which is where I'm planning to put a bracket to hold up the shelf. Oh, and there's another one there as well, I just noticed. So there's some two bolts, and hopefully that's all that holds it up. So I'm going to take all them out, and hopefully it'll come down and I can get it insulated. Wait. All right. 
Go. Go to that. Not too much of a faff. There was one bolt there, two there, two under that visor, two under that visor, another two there, and there's some little hex bolts to fix this through there into the liner. And uh, some poppers along the top. You just put it down, pop them out. Yeah, weren't too bad. Cool. All right, sit back up. I'm going to insulate it and then. Um... Bye, guys. Back sorting the headliner out, or the insulation above the headliner anyway. I've cut a bit of the Reflectix, roughly the size. Now I'm trying to get it up there and in place. Oh, I'll for some swivel seats. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Right, it's all done. I'll take over and I'll show you. All vapor barriered up, foiled up. It's a bit of a pain in the ass around there. These wires and that coming out, but yep, it's all sealed, all taped up. Ready for bringing the other vapor barrier up and then seal it round. Walls in the ceiling, give it a complete seal. I even tried to get right under there. Yeah. So, cool. So, right, I want to get the headliner up. Yes, yeah, next job, get the headliner up, screw that back up, and then um, I can attack the shelf. Sweet. I'll see you in a minute. It's raining in the van. Messy old game, this I tell ya. Top tip, stick out on the floor. Because uh, it don't like coming off. Depends on what stuff you buy. Oh, this stuff here, ever build fix all. I think I got it from, uh, where not screw fix, what was it? Tool station. This is the stuff from Tool Station. And, uh, it's just quick setting, but it ain't. It reacts for bloody ages, and it keep dripping out of these holes. Hey, yonks. <laughs> I absolutely smothered my headrest in it. So, uh, yeah, cover everything up before you do it. Oh, it's an absolute nightmare. Because as you can see, it just comes out. And... About 15, 20 minutes that will happen for. So, yeah, if you're not prepared for it, it'll catch you out. It's messy old gear and all. It's feet sticking to the floor and all sorts, so, yeah. So if you can see back there, shelf's in. And when it stopped raining in here, I'll take you down there and I'll show you a bit about what I've done. Didn't record much, because 
the right faff, trying to get all the angles figured out and everything else, and just cutting every five minutes. The right nightmare. I think I got one bit of footage of me using a, the skill saw to cut it, and that was about it. But yeah, we've got it done, and uh, I'll take you over there in a bit, and I'll show you how we got it sorted. Right, all right, guys, back in the front. Still raining at the back now, so I'm taking a bit of a risk. Oh, Angles here, I know it, man. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but I've done all this as well. Actually, ah, oh, now we're safe. Done that the other day. So all that was wet, it's so a sweep. We ain't gonna get covered, we're safe. Right, so, got the old shelf done. Still a bit flappy. I ain't fixed it under here yet. I don't know if you can see down there. I ain't gonna take you too far, but there's that black bit of wood. Oh, mate, stepping in all this stuff down here. Stick everything that. Yeah, well, anyway. Yeah, so we're uh, sprayed with screws up, and I'm gonna screw them in under there. Did debate about getting a bolt, but for the money I was gonna pay for the bolts, I might as well just screw it up there. I have to get the old um, carpets, four-way stretch carpet to match this, put that on there, but I ain't gonna bother ordering that up just yet. Just wanted a shelf up there just so I can uh, store some bits up there, because as you know, I live in a flat, and uh, when you see all that gear out there, I have to constantly move that in and out, in and out, in and out every five minutes. Absolutely shed loads of it. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, so this shelf will be handy to throw some bits and pieces up there. But yeah, so uh, I'll show you. Let's cut some angles out here for it to fit out around that. And it tapers in all along this edge. Now, to scribe them curbs in, I uh, got a bit of the old cardboard down there, made some templates. Bit over the back there. I'm not going to risk going through that little nightmare, though, to find them. Little gauntlet and sticky stuff. So yeah, and uh, chamfered it as well, because it needs to be chamfered to fit the angles either side. Didn't quite get them perfect, but there you go, it's good enough. And it fits, so and this is a uh, 18 mil hardwood ply. I thought I'd go for the 18 mil and the hardwood, because uh, I ain't gonna put a huge amount of weight up here, but I want it to be solid, not the sag start sagging in the middle, because I see some other people using like 12 mil softwood ploy. <sighs> that ain't last five minutes, especially if it gets a bit damp up there, that's just gonna bow like anything. So I've gone with the 18 mil hardwood, hopefully that'll be a, bit, be a bit better. I ain't putting anything really heavy up there, but yeah, I don't want it sagging after I've been to all the effort cutting it in and putting all the carpet on there. Yeah, so that's done. Headliner back in again because it didn't see me do that. Boy, was that a nightmare! So, uh, <laughs> yeah, some bloke asked me on um, I think it was on Facebook actually, and I stuck a picture of it up there. So, how was it getting it out? Oh, yeah, it's fine, mate. Only six bolts, absolutely easy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I uh, kind of put it in again, and my mate was it hard work. The main thing that was hard work, you got bolts. There's one, sorry about the sun, you probably can't see. There's one either side of there, with the sun visor. And uh, locating them again, after putting all the insulation and the foil up there, there was just one, just that one there, and it would not go in, could not locate it for love nor money. I must have been out here for about a good hour trying to get that one bolt in. Good job weren't recording it, because the language was blue as hell. <laughs> but we got it done, we got it done. So yeah, that's done. Nearly finished putting the spray foam in all these ribs. Quite a few of them. I worked out one can does about two ribs. So, a fair bit of money being spent, to be honest. But there you go. They do about eat, eat, eat up the money, didn't they, the old campers? Right, so yeah, next job. Get finished the insulation, or the, the spray foam in these. And then uh, we finish swing around then plastic recycled plastic insulation all the way down the other side other sides 
I'll be packing it right in as well, right up as far as I can get up there as well, using a thin stick, jab it all the way up. Same for every one of these as well. Stuffing it all the way up there as far as I can. I am gonna do these, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna run some cables through them yet. Um, yeah, I haven't decided that yet, so I've left these for the minute. I've decided whether I can run the cables, try and run them through here. So I've still got a few 12 volt um, sockets to put in. I've got all my lights in, um, fan, the fan for the bathroom. I don't know where to put the bathroom in though, to be honest. After watching old uh, Ash Pollard's one with his wood burner and the amount of space he's got in it, now he took the shower out, I'm not going to know to bother. But yeah, the cable's there for one of you. If not, I can run that cable out and use that for something else. Anyway, that's kind of where we're at at the minute. I'm going to carry on letting this crap finish setting and dropping. Uh, probably leave that for tonight. I've got another couple of ribs to do. There's one I missed there, so I've got to wait for this to stop dripping in and do that. So we're pretty, pretty much there. I oh, forget to shut my skylight either. Yeah, then we're done. Anyway, I'll bring you back. We've got something else to show you. Alright, guys, back in the van. Gonna do the uh, carry on with the shelves today. I've uh, already done a couple of little bits to it. Stuck the screws in, in the brackets underneath there. Uh, and we've uh, fixed the, the batten up top there so I can hopefully start framing it out and, uh, and uh, fixing it so this don't wobble. Sorry about that, but the old sun's out, innit? You gotta do it. Just wanted to say thank you for all the new subscribers. I'm really made up with it. Got over 100 now and I was never expecting that. So uh, yeah, thank you. And if uh, if you're not subscribed, if you could subscribe, that'd be absolutely fantastic because it helps with all that Facebook, and YouTube algorithm and all that when you like it and subscribe. So if you could do that, then that'd be fantastic. Really appreciate it. Right, so uh, I'm gonna carry on trying to get that framed up after a couple more swigs of this. And uh, yeah, hope you're staying safe and continue watching this. See you in a bit. as possible at the moment but there are a few times when we might need to go out so can you uh, keep us up to date with what we should be doing Rad or when is it okay for us to leave the house? Yeah absolutely so obviously if anyone's got symptoms or living with someone in their house who's got symptoms or if they're shielding great then the advice is different to have Right, got a basic frame done now. Nice and solid, rocking the old van. And I'm not gonna hang off of it, but I think I could. Nice and sturdy, much better than that 12 mil softwood ply. I would use it personally, so. All right guys, back in the van. So we're continuing with the shelves up there today. Planning to uh, put a face shoe on today. Um, possibly have the door cut into it as well. So uh, I'll let you know how we get on.
and there's all the framing done. So we're in bands there, fixed underneath. That one along the top, four fixings along into one of the ribs, one of these big metal ribs here. Then uh, the uprights are fixed into that. And then again, over here, we've got another one fixed underneath. So we can screw the fascia all the way across. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna put the fascia up, I've done. I'm not sure if I'm gonna change it. Um, we'll have a look, let's see how it looks. Right, that'll do for this video. If you want to leave that there, I'll make sure the sun ain't in your eyes. So, uh, yeah, I've got to get its hinges yet for it, but uh, we'll think the way it is at the minute. Or, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave the video there. And I'll show you in another video once I've finished and, and put the hinges on and the rest of that, fitted it all. But yeah, that's roughly how you, how you do a overhead storage in a Sprinter. That's how I've done it anyway. I just want to say a big thank you to one of these subscribers. Got over 100 now and that's absolutely fantastic. I'd love to get a few more. So if you haven't liked the videos and subscribed, then please do. Because I'd love to get up to 1,000 if possible. Big dreams, but we'll see if we can get there. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you for the next one. Take care guys. See you later.